Phil McGregor, uh, thanks to have you here. Welcome to Gordon Camera. Um, I think you have been working in Hamburg and you arrived yesterday. Yes. So uh, what did you do? I, I had a very quiet day yesterday and today I had a very quiet day today. I ran around, I don't know where the big lake is called, in front of, um, down in the city center there. Binnen I went around the first one and then the second one and I had a run in the cold air, which was beautiful. And saw some of the sights as I ran along. And um, But I had a very quiet day. It's, I, when you arrive from a very different time zone, it's nice to just take it easy. So I did that. Watched a lot of the news. You're looking so young. How do you do that? Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Well, I try and keep busy. I try and keep active. I try and eat well. I think uh, 2017 was a fantastic year for you. Uh, you had, again, your iconic role as Renton. Uh, you were Lumiere uh, and the Beauty and the Beast. And, of course, uh, third season of Fargo uh, with its uh, fantastic double role. So was it one of the best years uh, of your career, do you think? No, I, I, I think they're all, they're all... I mean, I don't think any year is more important than another, really. I, I, I think... All of your work is important, and it's all step. It's all one stepping stone from one thing to the next. You explore different parts of yourself and different things that you want to explore in your creativity through each role you play. So I don't know that any are more. You know, I don't think it's a better year than a not better year. But it was a great. It was a very satisfying year. I think Fargo was maybe one of the most satisfying pieces of work I've done in a long time because of the nature of playing those two people and having to be believable as both and 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 to try and my goal was to play both of these brothers and have the audience forget that it was me playing both I didn't want them to really be bothered about the fact that it was me in both of those roles and I think we managed to do that you know with a lot of help from my friends with makeup and hair and um, I'm glad that we I, I feel that when I watched it and when I think of it I think of them as two different people so that's interesting Currently, you're working on Christopher Robin, the Disney movie. Yes. Can you tell us something about that? Well, we finished that last year, in the end of last year, in November. And um, I think it's coming out in August. It was lovely to work with Mark Forrester again, who I've enjoyed working with in 2003 on a movie called Stay. And it's a charming story. It's a very beautiful story. And it's, I think, un because Mark directed it, I think it's, un it's not quite what you'll expect from a... Disney Winnie the Pooh movie. It, uh, Disney Winnie the Pooh movie sounds colourful and cheery, and it's actually quite. An, it's an interesting story about Christopher Robin when he's an older, when he's my age, and um, it's set post-war, so it's set in the 90, late 1940s, early 50s, and uh, so it's an. It's an interesting. I don't want to tell you the story, but it's an. It's very interesting, and it looks beautiful. It was shot very beautifully. So, it's good. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.